They pretty much have colonized the entire campus though. It supports a pretty high population of squirrels. We have our squirrels on campus every day. We love our squirrels in every way. It's only one week, so don't be late. It's Squirrel Week at Fresno State. Honestly, I've been interested in squirrels my entire life. I actually grew up in Northern California in Redding, and we have gray squirrels there, which I actually think are a little cuter than the ones here. And I just have watched them my whole life, so it was kind of a no-brainer for me that I wanted to do something with squirrels. I am working with Dr. Kutti for my master's thesis with biology. I also have a little bit of help from some undergraduates. My research actually has three components. I first wanted to figure out where are the squirrels in Fresno and in Clovis. So I did distribution mapping. And then I also want to know how is the habitat different from where I'm finding squirrels versus where I'm not finding squirrels. So with tree squirrels, like the ones we have on campus, I would expect them to be in areas that have old, mature trees. I read this really interesting paper. It's called kleptoparasitism, when you think that one species is eavesdropping on another and watching where they're burying seeds. So I thought, okay, well, we have two species that cast seeds here, why can't that relationship exist between the two of them? Our tree squirrels on campus are fox squirrels, and they spend more time on ground than almost any other tree squirrel. So you frequently will see them on the ground, in the trees, they're really agile climbers. They prefer older, mature trees. They really like oak, walnut, and since our campus is an arboretum, this is really an ideal habitat for them. I would definitely say that the tree squirrels on campus are smart. I would say that these squirrels are a lot more habituated to people than in the rest of Fresno. No squirrels, when I'm out doing my distribution, come straight up to me asking for food, basically. I, I wish I had a better answer for why squirrels play so much, but they're just really the gregarious, playful species. I think that they do have a lot of time on their hands. If it's not approaching winter, they're not working so hard to make their cache, their collection of seeds to store up. So they're just eating what they need for that day, and then they've got some downtime to chase each other. I would say that our squirrels are lazy here. They know if this person's going to come out every single day with a tray full of peanuts, they're going to be there, and they don't have to work as hard to get their, their food intake for that day. So maybe they should get a job on campus. <laughs> squirrels should definitely get a job on campus. Put them to work. We should feed squirrels nuts. Nuts, seeds, sunflower seeds, peanuts, walnuts. That's what they naturally eat. It's not a good idea to be petting squirrels, but I don't know, I've kind of broken that rule myself. I like to feed them from the hand, even though you shouldn't. The, the nest is basically a pile of twigs, and you'll see some vegetation in there. Outside the um, Science One building is a really prominent nest, which I would call a dray. The only difference between summer and winter drays is because in the winter there isn't any leaves, it's a lot more exposed, versus in the spring, summer, there's a lot more vegetation, so it's really more secluded. I think it's also a way to escape the heat a little bit in the summer. Some squirrels are territorial, but the squirrels we have on campus, the fox squirrels, are not territorial at all. So when we see them chasing each other, they're just plain. They're one of the most playful squirrels. Squirrels are not monogamous. They're a little bit promiscuous. They um, actually have two breeding patterns. They'll breed in December and in June. And they do not have sexual dimorphism, so the males and females look exactly the same throughout the year. The only time that you can really tell them apart is during the breeding time. I'm afraid to ask how you can tell them apart. Because the males are a very prominent male area. Students can best appreciate squirrels during Squirrel Week by bringing them some peanuts or some sunflower seeds and just watching them, give, taking a moment to watch how they interact. It's Squirrel Week at Fresno State.